I guess I'm doing the intro. <laughs> hey, welcome to Switch It Up. <laughs> Today, where are we, Todd? This is how <laughs> is the intro goes. Where oh, are we today? We are Todd? in Boston, Massachusetts. We are. What are we going to see today? <laughs> <laughs> this is totally, this is what I get for telling you to do the intro, because I do do this to you a lot. You do. I know. Uh -huh. We are going to see the Freedom Trail today, and I have honestly no clue. I didn't even know the Freedom Trail exists. This seems to be a common theme as well. Yeah, Todd doesn't know this place the exists. The historic. Or... I know Boston, Massachusetts. You know the Tea Party. You know Paul Revere didn't ride here, did he? Yeah, his house is here. Oh yeah, so you know all these things, but the Freedom Trail, who knew? I didn't know there was like this Freedom Trail thing to well, go walk. Well, the Freedom Trail is just basically, it's two and a half mile kind of loop through Boston with just kind of like these iconic spots along the way that, that kind of showcase um, the American Revolution. And squirrels. There's lots of squirrels in yeah. this park. Which is not good we're for Todd if you know him. We're he likes to <laughs> squirrel. We're starting in the <laughs> oldest planned park in the United States. It's just the oldest park in the United States. Oh, well, okay. Well, then he makes it older, I guess. <laughs> it's like the 16, <laughs> 1630, I think, is kind of that general yes. area. So imagine sheep and cows and things. Here yes, too. that's kind of what it was, the common area, and there were springs. And now it's got a carousel and an ice skating rink and yep. so playgrounds. Just like we start the Freedom Trail, we're going to start the vlog now with our wonderful intro song. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> and we can start walking. And then we will walk. We're going to walk Trail. the Freedom, Freedom Trail. Trail. We're not walk. riding a trolley, we're walking it. So let's roll the intro and start our walk together, shall we? Let's take them in along history. with us, through history. In history, it's like this little time loop back. It's a 1600s, back. that was a long time ago. Here it comes, ago. here it comes, I feel it. A man and a woman left their home To switch things up and go on the road They didn't know where they would go But it's gotta be better than staying home Okay, I have a feeling today is going to be full of fun fact day. It's fun fact history day. That's the, the Massachusetts State House. Yes. Did lay it know? on me. Lay, okay. <laughs> lay it on me. I bet they're all in. We're starting this tour out appropriately. We started with a squirrel because I felt that was appropriate, but we're going to jump right in, into in, this. Lily in your mind, is yeah. that squirrel appropriate? That, that land used to be uh, John Hancock's cow pasture right there where that, when they built that state house. And they built it in like January. It was finished in like the 1798. And you know what? <laughs> no, what? That dome used to be gold? Wood. And then Paul Revere had it laid in copper over the top of it. And they still use that building. It's the oldest building on Beacon Hill. <laughs> and they use it for the senators and the congressmen and the governor of Massachusetts to do the work there. No. I know. Look at that. Where John Hancock used to have his cows. Okay. You know who John Hancock is? Yeah, he signed some stuff. Oh dear lord. <laughs> Let's go. We only have two miles left to go on this freedom trail. I hope it includes snacks. Because well, depends on my how tummy, many squirrels you chase. My tummy, my tummy is really suffering. No, it's not. You had a good breakfast. now made it outside the Park Street Church. church uh -huh. That church has a 217 foot steeple and fun fact it was the way people found it was like the landmark as people were coming into Boston 
crap, you can't see it at all anymore, but it was the landmark. Yeah, there's lots of trees. Did you know that they stored gunpowder in that basement for the oh, War of 1812? There's just going to be so many in the War of 1812. We are in one of the oldest cemeteries in the United States. Paul Revere is buried here, as well as Benjamin Franklin's grand or parents. I feel like I'm on like, I don't know, I like this major historical tour with Sheila today. I love history and the architecture, and you're looking at the squirrels. I was looking at the architecture on these gravestone markers because they have like these like skull things like on them. Oh well, yeah, there's one right there. That's yeah, cool. it's like a weird, but they're so thin. Yeah, you can see how they're very, they gotta be brittle. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's, it's, it has got a cool ambiance. Just a lot of history. What? Which fight? Oh. Okay. I want to do a fun fact that we've learned. So look at all those old pennies, like down through here, shoved Is into there the, still sides. Some in the sides. Yeah. So here's a fun fact that we've learned from our Salem excursion is that this is all the pennies that you see is generally has to do with witches and they come to give a penny to earn the basically the rights to communicate with the spirits and so if you are in a cemetery and you're finding a bunch of pennies around something that is these witches coming into an area that you're around like an occult and they're trying to gain favor with the spirit world to communicate with them. So apparently, there's the Franklins, some really there's some old pennies shoved in the side. And that's the thing that they're all down underneath and they're all tarnished. And So apparently the occult has been coming here a very long time to try to communicate with the Franklins. Uh, there's your fun fact from Todd that I learned. <laughs> and it's kind of creepy. It's a dark fact. It is a dark, creepy dark. fact. But now you know when you go into these old cemeteries what the pennies meant. This hotel back here. Every president since 18 something has stayed at least one night there. JFK Jr. had his bachelor party there. Did you know that here? I did know that. <laughs> I'm popping stuff. Yep, that's kind of a cool little fun fact. Now you're saying, what do we have up here? Cause we could lay on the ground and just stare into each other's eyes. And I remember when you came. I felt the taste of you. Welcome to the oldest cemetery in the United States. Yes, there's a lady, the first lady that stepped off the Mayflower is buried here. That's quite the accomplishment for her. I mean, think about it. Oh, to get off the Mayflower to be buried here? Well, why well, no. Just, <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going totally bad. <laughs> it's still an accomplishment to be remembered this, yes. this far from that yes. yeah it's crazy i don't know it's just it's nostalgic you know weird way i guess there's over 600 gravestones but thousands have been buried here yeah so. said that sometimes they could only afford like one grave site and so they'd bury the whole family um, above, above each other that, and they'd only get one tombstone for maybe the husband and then the rest of the family is buried in that spot it's kind of nuts Sheila says we're heading to the first school. Yes, where only boys could go to school. I'm trying to figure out who was qualified to teach them. Who were the first teachers? That's a good question. Now that's a question, right? I bet. I bet they were men because they were very. They were, you know, all about the men movement back then. Yes, boys could go if they were poor or rich, but girls had to just learn at home. Huh. And it was a Latin school. 
school. Do you find it odd that right across the this area here there's a kinder care? It's kind of ironic on School Street. <laughs> Isn't that kind of... It's like, who thought of that? It's like, hey, I got this great business idea. First school, we're going to put a kinder care there. Old City Hall, it's really nice, but now it's the Ruth Chris Steakhouse, just in case you're wanting to get some food. But look at that building, it's okay, okay, yeah. awesome. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Our journey continues. We have seemed to have found the old meeting house right there. And that actually was where the Boston Tea Party started. Basically, it's where they met together and protested. And that's they did it. There was a secret signal given to throw away 300 parts, crates of tea. Into the sea. I wonder what was Lipton's. Because Lipton's tea just isn't the best tea. There's lots of better teas. And I think if it was all Lipton's tea, I would be upset too over the tax of that because why would you tax just a watered down tea version? That would just be horrible. Pretty just, sure that has nothing to do with the Boston I, Tea Party. Maybe it has to do with my own preferences. Probably. <laughs> Probably. But it was saved the wrecking ball and now they're still doing meetings and stuff in there. Yeah, so, let's go see what we can see inside. We can go in? Let's go see. You know it was a house of worship first. Before it was the meeting house. Huh. 1729, 1876. Catch this for your, this is what we're doing. Oh, I'm going back. I'm going. It's the old state house. The symbolization of this right now is the whole idea of this is where the idea of free government, self-government self -government mm -hmm. came into play right here. The Boston Massacre actually happened right there. It's because there were peaceful protests, unarmed, and they were killed right there. So that's where it all hatched. The plan hatched to have our wonderful government. By Samuel Adams. And he didn't make beer here. <laughs> John there was no, Yeah. They read the, uh, they first read the, this is where they first read the Declaration of Independence. Oh. Right here in this building from the balcony. All right. And then the people tore those two statues down out of defiance to the king. Anything else in there rattling around? I just think that that's interesting fun fact. So we're continuing the trail. Follow the red bricks. Follow the red bricks. And not where we come from, we follow yellow bricks. Yeah. <laughs> Never following the red ones. I don't know, that's that right there, knowing that's where the whole idea of our governmental system plan was, that's kind of a cool thing. It is a very pretty city. I know. Apparently, I wasn't too far off. <laughs> Samuel Adams is only, he's now making his brew just like a block away from there. You can yeah, see. Yeah, he was over there yeah, yeah. saying, we're not gonna take it anymore, and then they just started brewing beer, right here. Yeah, who knew? I didn't know that. <laughs> I, think... I didn't either. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, historic site. We're gonna call it, is it Faneuil Hall? The cool part, this is where all the free thinking, free speech, They'd the idea of free speech would be here. Yes. And there's been a number of things. They, so the park, park rangers, what were they saying? One of the biggest speeches? Yeah, from Frederick uh, Douglass at the, um, at the end of slavery, that 
that hall was built to hold about a thousand people maximum and they had so, four thousand people standing in there isn't that crazy but it also this is the cornerstone of our freedom of speech freedom of speech right yeah. here at this building this is where people could come to be heard and toss, and around toss around ideas and not be chastised for it and, I mean that's that's the thing we no longer can just talk and worry about if somebody else doesn't like an opinion that's where we're at today and how far we've come it's mind-blowing it's a cool place I loved this I love this a lot where all Italians trace their roots. Here's a fun fact about Mr. Paul Revere. I find this quite intriguing. He had 16 children. That's not crazy. <laughs> he had eight children with the first wife. She died what? in childbirth. <laughs> she died of childbirth, obviously back then. And then he decided to get married again and have eight more kids. Because why not? Why not? Isn't that crazy? And let's talk construction. He bought that fixer upper it when was it was right. it was 90 years old. <laughs> Can you uh, just think about that for a second? This house is already 90 years old when he bought it. In 17, whatever. It was. <laughs> Remember, it is insane to think that. The history here is pretty cool. I mean, just the, the streets and everything happening. Let's set the scene. The scene is Nicolas Cage. Oh. He's hiding off into this corner and it's coming to the end of National Treasure. And he gave a false clue and that false clue was supposed to lead them to this church. And the, the guy gets arrested. Nicolas Cage steps from the shadows and shows him that he was the man after all. That's how that all went down because this is the old church where Paul Revere was to hang the lanterns to notify everybody how the British were coming. Yeah, yeah, it even says so in a big old plaque up there. <laughs> I, I think that he was just, Paul Revere was lazy though, because I don't think he hiked all the way up there. I think he stopped way. off, knocked on the door, and he said, hang two lanterns, I gotta go, I gotta go tell everyone else. The British coming. I don't think he had that thick accent. I oh, think well, he had a British accent. <laughs> One thing he didn't. He did have, uh, he, he, had, he had lots of children. Wasn't if I had that many kids, I would sit there and say, okay, Jimmy, Joe, Bobby, Timmy, Susie, Tina, I need you guys to jump on your ponies, go to different parts of the city. You need to tell them right British now, are coming. I think our children are just probably glad that I named them. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna get run over. Oh, Paul yeah. Revere didn't have to worry about cars. <laughs> Party, we know no one there. Mm -hmm. And we didn't even care if we stayed all night. Cause we always had each other, always had each other, always had each other. We always had each other. I mean, you look at that city skyline and something just doesn't seem to fit. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a little out of place. An old Ironside is what she the was reading. Oldest commissioned warship. Navy warship. Two hundred and twenty years? Two hundred and thirty years old? I don't know, she floated in eighteen twelve. Still has a crew. Yeah. Which is crazy. S still commissioned to float. Now, here's what happened, Sheila. I'm gonna tell you this oh, so gosh. you know. 
if I was by really chance enjoying our real history. Listen, day. listen, she this is important. If by chance an EMP hit knocked out everything, none of our stuff worked. Old Ironside's still ready to go into commission to defend the United States of America. Wonder That's if a, they let me get on it. This is the backup plan. The EMP backup plan. Look at all those ropes. Yeah, it's just two thingies in a dinghy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if she's commissioned to go out and fight war, we don't use cannons anymore. Well, yeah. And there they are, cannons. And many an eye has danced to see that banner in the sky. Beneath it rung the battle shout and burst the cannon's roar. The meteor of the ocean air shall sweep the clouds no more. Her deck once red with heroes' blood where knelt the vanquished foe. When winds were hurrying o'er the flood and waves were white below. No more shall feel the victor's tread or know the conquered knee. The harpies of the shore shall pluck the eagle of the sea. Oh, better that her shattered hulk should sink beneath the wave. Her thunder shook the mighty deep, and there should be her grave. Nailed to the mast, her holy flag, set every threadbare sail, and give it to the god of storms, the lightning, and the gale. Go, KC. All right. You know why Kyle Long went back to football? Why? So he can have a ring like his big brother. <laughs> yeah, that's the only awesome. reason. <laughs> Oh, look at that, Sheila. Are you happy to see Shrek? <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> I will say, once we got here, I parallel parked there, so I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> pretty, I was pretty impressed myself. So, we finished this wonderful freedom, freedom, freedom trail. We did. We didn't make it all the way to the end to the Bunker Hill it Memorial because it closed. We got, but we, we gave it our best shot. We only missed one, and that was the memorial. That was it. Yeah. So, do you recommend such a thing? I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed just walking around the town of Boston, the history, the architecture, the sirens. There's a lot of sirens. There's a lot of sirens. We'll wait for a second. Okay, that's a little better. Did you, would you recommend it? Yes, I would. At the beginning of this, we drove around because we brought Shrek and not the motorcycle, the donkey. So we drove around for a bit yeah. to try to find a parking place. If you have a normal size vehicle, you, there's more options for sure, but we're too tall. For, too to, tall for to parking garages. Parking garages yeah. Too wide for the one place we went where he said, oh no, they won't fit. And then he made <laughs> us leave. And then, we so would we, recommend you getting getting food in the north end. There's lots of yes. amazing like Italian restaurants there. Yes. The smells were delicious. <laughs> no, no, we're that's the one thing. We stopped to watch a Chiefs game. <laughs> that's what why we failed. <laughs> but so and this is a Sunday. I can't imagine what the week is like coming or down like here. Summer. Can yeah. you imagine when like it's high tourist season? We would definitely recommend it just because of the history um, that's here. Yes, a lot of thought provoking things. Yeah. I guess it's about all I got. I mean, there isn't any other helpful tips. Are there any helpful tips? Just plan for extra parking and driving. Mm -hmm. Parking's generally 30 bucks maybe. Yeah, we got lucky and on Sundays it's free on the street. So we have There's to pay a tip. for parking. Okay. But we did walk five miles today on the Freedom Trail. <laughs> you didn't tell me. I t kept telling you I felt tired. 
Well, I, you asked me how many steps. <laughs> I didn't tell you how. I didn't fail. So look at you. Good you. job. You did it. Five miles. You walked five miles today. Yeah, the Freedom Trail. I feel free. <laughs> yes. All right, so they need to like, comment, subscribe. Do, Do all, all the things. things as we try to head out. And until next time, in another couple days, we'll see you again. So thanks for tuning in on our wonderful adventures in Boston. Thank you.